I'm going to do the Lewis structure for phosphoric acid. Phosphoric acid is a special compound. It has two types of Lewis structure. The first one I'm going to do is the one which has an extended octet. So what do you mean by extended octet? Is it will have more than eight electrons surrounding it. So as usual, we will start by counting the valence electron. Phosphorus belongs to group five and hence has five valence electrons. Three hydrogens gives me three valence electrons and uh, four oxygens gives me 24 valence electrons. A total of 32 valence electrons is what phosphoric acid has. And quite obviously, the central atom in this case is phosphorus. Uh, because phosphorus has a valency of 5, oxygen has a valency of 2. And therefore, with so many atoms to be surrounded, let's put phosphorus as the central atom. And after we put phosphorus as a central atom, we draw the skeleton of the molecule. So when you draw the skeleton of the molecule, it's shown uh, as shown, we will see that phosphorus has got 3 oxygen atoms surrounded by a single bond and 1 oxygen is attached to the phosphorus by a double bond. So this way, the oxygen, the phosphorus valency is satisfied. So now if you count the lone pairs, you will find that all the oxygens have two lone pairs to a total of uh, one, two, three, four lone pairs. That means eight electrons. And uh, this is the Lewis structure one in which phosphorus has ten electrons around it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 bond, therefore 10 electrons around it. And when you calculate the formal charge, you will find that phosphorus also has 0, phosphorus and oxygen, both of them have 0 formal charge. And so this structure with a phosphorus double bond O is called as, we can call it as Lewis structure 1 or the Lewis structure which has got an extended octet for phosphorus that has 10 electrons around it. They have no charge on the atoms. It is possible for phosphorus to extend its octet because it has a D uh, subshell. So you just now saw a structure for phosphoric acid with an extended octet. Let's do Lewis structure second. And in the Lewis structure second, you will see that all the oxygens are bonded to the phosphorus by a single bond and uh, the oxygen number 4 has got 6 electrons around it, that is 3 lone pairs, whereas oxygen number 1, 2, 3 have 2 pairs of lone pairs. So, in this case, the number of electrons surrounding phosphorus is 8. Therefore, it has completed its octet, but not extended its octet. So, when you calculate the formal charges, the formal charge on phosphorus comes to 1, and the formal charge on oxygen, the Oxygen 1, 2, 3 comes as 0, but the formal charge on oxygen 4 comes as negative 1. See, on the whole, the molecule is neutral, but in this case, the structure, Lewis structure 2, it has not extended its octet, but has a formal charge. So, we can say that is octet is complete means it has got just 8 electrons, that's 4 bonds around it. However, there is charge on atoms. As compared to Lewis structure 1, where there was a P double bond O, but uh, phosphorus had 10 electrons around it. So now let us just uh, sum up the geometry of phosphoric mm -hmm. acid and the Lewis structure. We have one Lewis structure with extended octet, the other Lewis structure which has in which the octet is complete, the one which has an extended octet has a P double bond O, the one in which the octet is complete has a, all the four bonds between uh, phosphorus and oxygen are single, the extended octet structure has 10 electrons around phosphorus. The octet complete has just 8 electrons. But the difference between the two is the one which has got octet complete has got uh, formal charge on it, whereas extended octet structure has got no formal charge on it. So which one is better, we cannot say that. It just depends on the way they ask the question. You have got to answer. But just have to remember that. Uh, the one in which the octet is complete has got some charges on it. Though the molecule is neutral, but uh, the individual elements, phosphorus and one oxygen, has a charge on it. And it's a AB4, both of them are AB4 type of molecule. The hybridization of the central phosphorus is sp3 and uh, has an electron domain geometry of tetrahedral. And the molecular geometry is also tetrahedral because there's no lone pair. 
So phosphoric acid, as I keep mentioning, is a special case and has got two Lewis structures.